we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, friends. It's Mr. Concord Concord here. I've asked for requests, and I have a lot of people that are saying they would like to see a bonsai planter. planter. I've had a few people that have said they want to see a big, big, big planter, and I want to do a, a really big planter for you. But we're going to start small and do a bonsai, a bonsai tree planter. Those are mini, they're like a little mini tree, and you put them in a little pot. But typically, the pots are square. So, I did not have a, uh, a mold for a bonsai planter, and I was unsure about making one, I, you know, a mold a really nice mold can be a very big investment. So I decided I'm going to make a mold on the on the cheap, cheap. I found this. It is a container for, uh, I think there was nails. There's nails in here and I got this from like a Home Depot or a, a, I got this from a local hardware store. Not, not a brand name. And then what I did is I took some chunks of foam and I cut them into squares and I stuck them together with tape and then I put this other, I put more tape on top of them so that the concrete wouldn't stick. And then I taped that inside of the container. So here's a, a mold making tip. If you want to make a thing that you can put things into, so like dirt or uh, bamboo, decorative items, whatever, who cares, whatever you want. The way you do it is you need one container, you need one thing, probably a container, but you need basically a box or a circle or a pail that's open on one end, and then you want to stick a solid object inside, and you need, uh, you know, I gave it about an inch of distance around the edges between the solid object and the bucket object. But this cost me very little to make and I made this thing. And I'm like, okay, here we go. Here's the thing. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna mix up some concrete, some gray matter. Gray matter. Gray matter. And I'm gonna pack it in here into our mold and tap 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 it out. And it's gonna be a very, very cool bonsai planter. So let's Let's get to it. I estimated that we would need four kilos of gray matter. Uh, a kilo, a kilo is 2.2 .2 pounds. So four kilos is 8.8 .8 pounds. Uh, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get to it. So I need approximately, for four kilos of gray matter, I need approximately 400 milliliters of water. I would say that was about 200. There's another 100. 400. 400 milliliters of water is not much, um, but gray matter is a really magical concrete mix with super plasticizers and water reducers and all kinds of uh, natural hemp fibers. Look at this. Canadian, Canadian hemp fiber. Wonderful. Mix it up. Gray matter by Concrete Concrete. I'm Mr. Concrete Concrete, and we are working through a little thing right now. Oh boy. Mm. We can do this quick. I'm moving over to Sriracha Water. Here we go. Sriracha Water. Sriracha water is water that has been in a uh, sriracha bottle and has taken on some properties of the sriracha, primarily smell, but 
presumably taste as well. Sriracha water. <sighs> Sit back down. So my measurements may or may not have been accurate. That might, that might have been 300 milliliters, not, not 400. I actually don't think I can measure milliliters by hand. Maybe cups. I can visualize a cup. I don't think I can visualize 100 milliliters. I know that one cup, I think is, uh, I guess I don't know. I think one cup is 250 milliliters. Can I visualize a milliliter? 100 milliliters, maybe. Anyway, I can tell that that, that wasn't enough water. So, going, going more. This is still too crumbly. I may fast forward this part. Here we go. Here we go. Quick, quick, quick. Nice. Oh, it's coming together. Standing back up. You know what? A little bit more water. I think we're there. Mm. That should be just enough water, I can tell. With gray matter. One of the challenges to mixing things by hand or by eye is that your water reducers and plasticizers need to hydrate before they'll kick in. Meaning there's lag. There's a water reducer lag time. So this is not as fluid as I would like, but Having worked with gray matter for a substantial amount of time, I can predict that we're seeing a little bit of lag in the viscosity or fluidity of this concrete. I'm gonna give it a touch more water. Now I'm going straight to the, the misting straight spray bottle. We need very incremental amounts of water at this point. We do not want too much water because that makes ugh, a whole host of problems. Oh, here we go. Coming together. Yeah, like that, like that, like that. Bonsai pot. I'm actually working on a bonsai tree of my own. I'm, uh, I'm currently in the process of germinating a jackfruit tree, uh, seed, germinating a jackfruit seed so I can grow a jackfruit tree. I'll probably, who knows? Uh, pigment. Let her sun, won't you come? Wash away the rain, won't you come, won't you come? Black hole sun, black hole concrete, won't you melt? Make a black hole here, black hole concrete, won't you melt, won't you melt? Here we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be our black, our black part. We had a healthy amount of white. Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Mm. Where do we go with this? Yeah, yeah. This, we need, oh yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Uh, we need some teal in here. I make my own teal mix. This is a, uh, what is this? 
four parts blue, three parts teal, the teal streak. Four parts blue, three parts yellow. It's either four parts blue, three parts yellow, or five parts blue, two parts yellow. Uh, it might be five too. I don't know. It's written down. I write, I write things down in permanent places because my brain capacity seems to be finite and I, uh, if I write things down, then not only can I remember them, but I can share those things with other people. So I like to write things down, like what, what is the ratio of blue to yellow in my teal mix? And did we put enough teal in here? To me is pure gold. This is gold. Look at this. We're gonna make something beautiful, a bonsai. We're Okay, I feel good about this. We've got black, we've got white, we've got teal mix. Oh, okay, we're getting there. Here we go, here we go. We've got our bonsai mold, bonsai. And we're gonna start shoveling this in. Maybe a little shaky shake. joining me and we can tune into all this much not that much later oh yeah it's a bucket so it's got a little handle on it that's nice for me that's nice Knock those out, knock out the oh. Whoo! Tomorrow. Have a good night. Well, we've given this concrete some time and now it's time to see how our bonsai pot turned out. So I brought a uh, an old towel and a couple of pry bars. Some sandpaper. This is a 50 grit sandpaper. And uh, an X-Acto knife. Be careful. The first thing we want to do is release the sides of our mold. Just kind of pull the bucket apart. Our ultra, ultra low budget 
found object mold. And then we just tip the whole thing over. And you can see where we've I taped I taped the foam in. And this should I think this should probably just pop out of here. But oh, it might not. Well, alternatively, if it doesn't just pop out, we can, uh, we can cut the bucket. Ah, I need this bucket though. Hmm. What's the best way to do this? Cut the bucket. Exact It's a nice thing about using a mold that is made out of found objects is that if you can't get your concrete out of the mold, you can just wreck the mold. You know, a lot of times if you're using plastic or wood or foam for your mold and not uh, silicone, you may have to just wreck your mold anyway. Otherwise it'll take you forever. And you might damage, you don't want to damage the concrete. There we go. That's off. Get rid of that. Just make a nice little cut there. A cut there. Cut there. And the should just rip apart. Hmm. There we go. I'm starting to get a, a look at her. Bonsai pot. Oh, this is dramatic. I didn't know. This was not the plan. I kind of two-way tape in the bottom. Mm. There we go. Getting there. Colors are nice. <clears throat> okay. Woo. Let's see what do we got. Good. Got a little bit of concrete that's kind of slipped over the edge of the foam, but I should be able to just break up to it. There it is. Getting the foam out is going to be messy. Just dig. Dig in. Pry it out. Sometimes this releases out. 
little easier. But not this time. Oh, there we go. There's our there's our tape. Take it a little bit more out of here. Should be able to just Okay, cool. So, wow, look at this thing. That's very nice. A little bit of edge work to do to clean this edge up. So if we can just kind of chip, the big stuff can chip off. sharp edges and take down with just a little bit of sanding. Comes off pretty quick. I'm not going to go through all the dirty work of sanding. You can do that on your own and I will do this on your own, my own. But there you have it. You want to make your own bonsai pot out of found objects. This is how you do it. And you can use whatever you want. You could even make a box out of something if you didn't want to use a found box, but a very cheap, easy way to make, uh, make yourself a flower pot or a bonsai pot or whatever you want. Well, thanks for tuning in to Concrete Concrete and making some stuff with me. See you later.